Hello Scorpio, this is a new love reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. I'm glad you stopped by. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's have some fun with tarot. Okay, what is in this? What's in store for you? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So it looks as though some of you already have someone around you that wants to work on things. All right, so let's see, Scorpio, what's going on. We have three shuffled. We'll get two more shuffles for you and see who is coming towards you. All right, ooh, you're going to have options. I just saw that energy in the deck. So at the bottom of the deck, yet yeah, there it is. <laughs> it just shuffled. I saw that. The overall energy is that you have massive choices. And, you know, not every choice is a good choice, but you're going to have a lot of fun. It does look like you're, you're watching people very closely. You know, you want someone definitely that's going to be in it to win it with you. But you have a lot of suitors who want your attention, Scorpio. Well, who wouldn't want the attention of a Scorpio? All right. So in the recent past, your energy and new love. Ace of Wands, somebody has made a very passionate approach. Looks like a fire sign energy. Could be Sagittarius, could be Leo, could be Aries. But someone who definitely wants to throw caution to the winds. The current energy between you and a new love interest is getting to know each other and really checking to see what uh, they want, the long-term plans of this person. You definitely are on the same page. This is strong earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. It really speaks to the fact that you are attracting someone that you may make a commitment with long-term. Virgo energy, someone who's willing to do the work, somebody who has uh, the sun represents happiness and joy, the beautiful representation of the blue shirts that the couple are wearing is people who are very much comfortable with their emotions, sharing them. The dog represents deep loyalty in a committed relationship. And this is legacy. This is about building a legacy relationship that's very abundant. In the near future, look at this. The person that you are attracting could be, well, they're very enlightened. It's Aquarius energy. They're going to take the leap of faith and they are going to make an approach to you that is unmistakable. They feel very confident about this approach with you, Scorpio. How you are viewed, Scorpio, at this time is look at that. The King of Pentacles energy. This is beautiful because it shows that you come across as very passionate, very loving. Like attracts like. Let's remember that in the Tarot and in love. You have this beautiful dog which represents how loyal you are. You know, the white hair, the beard represent your wisdom. You have a big coin on your lap. You're very comfortable, Scorpio, with who you are and what you want in life. You know what you want and you are not going to settle for less. You're attracting a Taurus king energy right now you are in the heart space of attracting a libra person who is very very solid they're very much a person who thinks logically this could be a lawyer this could be somebody who is um who makes decisions about a lot of things but it's air sign energy it speaks to the fact that this person doesn't give their heart until they're really ready to and we have a lot of Libra energy going on right now in the zodiac so you are attracting someone that you can really you can really see the logic in the way that you would move forward there will not be a lot of mystery with this new love it's everything's the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth which to me is the best that can be now we have you facing off to an Aquarius look at this it's almost as though you're in a park you're thinking separately and all of a sudden you bump into each other we have Aquarius energy it's very Dr. Doolittle to me somebody who's very warm and very loving loving again very much like Libra and wanting to have a relationship with you that is very grounded that's very um, 
that where you have a lot of intellectual interest together, the talk is lively, the conversations, the debates, it's, it's really, you need that mental stimulation. You know, what is it they say? The biggest erogenous zone is between the ears, baby. All right, so let's see. Oh, what's hidden here? You are really looking for answers from a different perspective. You are looking at love from a different perspective. You are enjoying yourself. You're hanging out. This is very Cirque du Soleil, you know, very almost a, a different way of thinking that's so enlightened and so beautiful that it brings this energy into your life of happiness. Just you want somebody you can hang out with quite literally and have fun while building a good life and while having a very intellectual, very um, intelligent type of relationship. Both of you like planning and strategic planning, thinking, debating, you know, sharing your thoughts and feelings. What we see here in the energy of what Spirit is recommending, we see the energy of the Eight of Coins, getting to know someone, getting to know all about them, and enjoying every moment of it. Virgo energy, building to this Virgo energy. This willing to do the work, and you are probably attracting a Virgo into your life. The outcome at this time is the Three of Swords. So multiple people are trying to get your attention. Scorpio, you are a heartbreaker. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of songs. There's some rock songs that come to mind. But somebody here is not going to get your attention. Somebody who wants it very, very much. And you are going to make a beautiful choice for yourself. And you are going to probably date two people or talk to two people at one time. And somebody is going to be unhappy with your ultimate decision. But that's what love is. That's what life is. It's full of decisions. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are for the energy around this passionate new beginning in love. Tell us about this passionate new beginning in love for our Scorpio friends, please. Okay, well, you've left your baggage behind. You've given up your burdens. You're ready for new love. You're moving forward. You feel pretty comfortable. You may travel with somebody or you may meet, excuse me, you may meet someone while you are traveling. You are very grounded. Your energy is very powerful. You're just not really suffering any fools, as they say. You are simply not giving anyone attention unless they approach you properly. Well, here you have winner, winner, chicken dinner. You are manifesting legacy love. That is being victorious in love, meeting someone that will want to introduce you to all of their friends, somebody who wants a very public relationship. They want to show you off, Scorpio. I love it. That Leo energy, very proud of you, very much a person who wants to collaborate in life with you, someone who wants to, a working partner, literally a working partner. Tell us something about this new adventure in love for Scorpio with this person that's coming in, this Aquarius person that's very enlightened. It, the energy is that your reaction first off is that you don't really understand where they're coming from, so you allow them the time to make approach. It looks as though this person may have suffered some difficulties in the recent past, so they may be on the rebound. I see you being very cautious with this person, but still, woo, look at that lover's card. That is Gemini energy again. Very strong air sign trifecta right here. Somebody with whom you will have great passion, great love, you'll stare into their eyes, they'll stare into yours. They could be a different, very different from you is what I'm getting. Well, differences, you know, opposites attract. So that Gemini energy, you want somebody who's very intellectually capable. Let's see. For the King of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands. Well, that King of Pentacles looks all calm, cool, and collected. But that passion says that they have an inner King of Wands. You also may be attracting, like I said, you're attracting multiple people. So I'm so far, I'm seeing Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. I'm seeing Capricorn. I'm seeing Leo and I'm seeing Taurus. So a lot and a lot of fixed sign energy too because it's, it shows stability in your relationship. Let's see what else we have here for new love. Again, Virgo energy. 
somebody, you are really looking at people carefully. You're giving, you're spending some time alone. You're keeping your own counsel. You are very much happy to work on a relationship, but you're keeping it between you and the person that you care about. You're not discussing things with friends too much. The Two of Wands says that you're at a crossroads. Somebody will ask you to make a statement of intention with them. They're going to ask you to go on a journey with them to leave one wand behind. So whoever it is that you're dating is very obvious. You've been very honest with everyone that you're dating multiple people and they know it and they ask you, they put their hand out to you in this beautiful energetic energy of the Capricorn Devil Reversed which is just what we like to see with the devil. We do not want to see the devil in the upright. This person is someone who is very good looking, very has a lot to offer, Capricorn energy, and they are reaching out to you in a very a way that's very tempting, but very still, very grounded, very healthy. So you have nothing to fear from that sexy devil, my friends. That person is on the same page as you. What, what do we see here for the hanged man, the star card? Look at this energy when we look at the cards, the enlightenment and the healing that have come in for you over the past period of time that you've been single. You are so ready for love. You have come out of the dark, out of the cold, into the light. You've gone through a period of time and now destiny turns its wheel of luck, lady luck, is in your favor at this time in love and we see you holding back until somebody else shows you something of value you are waiting for someone to make a very steady approach again virgo energy you want someone who's you don't mind if they move slowly you're in that same thought process so when we go from the eight of pentacles with the knight of pentacles you're definitely headed towards that committed ten of pentacles so nice energy. Tell us about the people that you will turn away. Tell us something about the people that are going to be heartbroken by our Scorpios. I know you don't want to break anybody's heart. I know that. But what we're seeing here is that when you make a choice, you have fire in your belly. You will be very kind to this person. You are going to get your happily ever after because you want commitment. So you will turn away anyone who is not going to give that to you. And that's what I'm seeing. You're not having it. You are in emperor mode as you exit this relationship with this strong energy of the king of pentacles. You are going to find happiness. I believe this is your month, Scorpio. It's been a joy being with you. Thank you so much. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment.